In this problem, we're being asked to tell whether these graphs have certain types of symmetry. One of the types we're looking at is x-axis symmetry. And you can think about that as, um, are the shapes identical on either side of the x-axis? If you folded the piece of paper, would they match up? You can see that's the case here. So this shape, this graph, has x-axis symmetry. The way to think about that in terms of coordinates is if you have this coordinate x, y, you're going to have the coordinate x, negative y as well. So here's an x, y, here's an x, negative y. So that shows x-axis symmetry. Another type of symmetry is y-axis symmetry. And uh, in this way, if you fold it across the y-axis, uh, you'll have pieces that match up as well. And you can see that's also the case here. This figure has y-axis symmetry. And in this case, if you want to think about it in terms of coordinates, if you have the coordinate xy, you're going to have the coordinate negative xy on the graph as well. There's one other type of symmetry to think about here, and that is symmetry about the origin. With origin symmetry, if you have a coordinate, let's say xy, you're also going to have the coordinate negative x, negative y. And the way to think about that is if you rotated the figure about the origin 180 degrees, would it still look the same? And in this case, that's true. If you rotated this 180 degrees, the top would be at the bottom, the bottom would be at the top. It would all be the same. So this has origin symmetry as well. So this figure has all three types of symmetry. Let's look at this uh, next one, B. So it doesn't have x-axis symmetry. If I folded it over the x-axis, would the pieces match up? Well, no, because this arm would go up here and this arm would go down here. So it doesn't have x-axis symmetry. Something similar is going to happen with the y-axis. If we were to fold it, we'd have a piece over here and a piece over here. They wouldn't match up. But what about origin symmetry? Let's think about this. So if we started rotating this uh, around the origin, 180 degrees, what we'd see is this arm would end up right where this arm is, and this arm would end up right where this arm is, and it would be the same figure. So this one has origin symmetry. In our last one, we've got your typical parabola, and I'm sure you can see right off that it doesn't have x-axis symmetry. There's nothing down here, and there's all this stuff up here, so they're definitely not the same. Um, it does have y-axis symmetry. If you folded it across this line, this point would map onto this point, this point would map onto this point, and so forth. It does not have y-axis symmetry. If you rotated this 180 degrees, it would be upside down from what it is now. So this one just has y-axis symmetry. So that is how to determine if graphs have uh, certain kinds of symmetries.